Hi, this is Michael with Iconosis. I just wanted to communicate shooting a white product uh, with a automated background removal tool. Uh, just to swap my camera into live mode, we'll position our object accordingly in the center of our studio. Uh, you can see obviously it looks quite blurry there. What I can say is adjust my focal point and bring everything back into focus through mouse clicks. And after we've optimized our focal point, as we can see it all looks quite good there. Um, our next step would simply be to adjust our, our camera settings to optimize for our lighting environment. The trick to shooting white objects um, on pure white backgrounds is to have more lighting on your actual background than actually on the subject. As you can see here, a white product um, with uh, this lighting studio. These are LED lighting studios and they have bottom and back lighting. So there's a lot of light coming through the bottom and back that is diffused and I don't have much light coming onto the actual product. So let's go ahead and take picture one, picture two, looks like this watch isn't quite white, well for the most part it, it is I guess, and picture three, okay so we've just captured three high quality images, um, for our last frame we're just going to remove this image and obviously shoot our background removal image. Okay as we're capturing these images are going into the thumbnail gallery. One, two, three, four. Um, so let's select all four of those images uh, using the checkbox. We'll go into our editing tool. And first what we'll do is import our background removal image and make this as our reference image. Import it successfully. Now what we'll go and do is use our background removal tool to remove this on a pure white. We want to inspect the color value of the background right now. I'm going to select the, uh, the color picker tool and watch where my mouse is, this RGB color value. Uh, you can see we are quite far off from pure white at about 230, 235, 230, whereas pure white is 255 across the board, obviously. So now what I want to do is back into my background removal tool and adjust my tolerance. So you can see kind of before, and as I make a change here, um, I will start to remove the actual background. And what I can say inside the software is show me what's white. So you can see we're doing quite well, but we're not getting rid of the little drop reflection. So if I increase this a little bit more, we can see it gives a pretty good cutout. Now I could go next and show me the next image. Um, I'm just going to trust this and hit apply to all in a batch process so I, just to help streamline things a little bit. So we're going to see how that works. All right, so we're done that processing here. Image one, image two, image three, pure white backgrounds. Again, this does help because we have uh, some, some pretty good lighting. Um, now, if we decide our object is too dark, um, what we can do is adjust that after the fact. So we can go ahead and maybe adjust our level slightly to maybe bring more white back in, in the actual uh, product itself. Um, but essentially, that's how it works. Uh, again, if you wanted to make any editing changes in here, you can again hit apply to all in a batch process. So overall, it's going to do a great job at white. You just need to, uh, you just need to, sorry, I didn't hit apply to all previously. Um, you just need to uh, light your stuff correctly, which is more light in the back, less light in the front. And uh, when you adjust your camera for the correct exposure, it's going to have enough contrast between your backdrop and your actual white product. All right, hope that helps. Thank you.